technology has been huge in the field of pain management. It has led us to new technology, new treatment options for patients, but also new technology that affects directly how we diagnose and manage pain. I'll give an example. Imaging. Imaging has taken off in the past 30 years like never before. The technology was discovered over 100 years ago with x-rays, but it was very antiquated, if you will, for many, many years, until about 30 years ago when the use of fluoroscopes started happening, and now you have live x-rays. So I could potentially put a needle, or I could perform surgeries percutaneously with the aid of a live fluoroscope. In the field of diagnosis, CT scans came out and it was completely revolutionary. You were able to see abdominal masses, you were able to see masses within bones, you were able to clearly define the bone tissue, and obviously then became the magnetic resonance imaging, the MRIs and the MRI technology, and how that really has helped us particularly in the field of spine disorders, back pain, nerve compression, nerve damage, and understanding the correlation between when you see an actual herniated disc or an acute vertebral body compression fracture. And nowadays, the evolution of technology has allowed us to develop PET scans, functional MRIs, functional MRAs, and the scope continues to grow and the technology continues to improve. Thus, creating that question, will we ever be able to understand pain with imaging? Will we be able to ever diagnose a patient about the amount of pain they're having because we're going to be able to image it? Certainly a lot of work has been done to try to understand if that's possible. And with the technology, I don't like to ever say that it's impossible because if you think about it, it probably will happen at one point. <laughs>